So hello there. Now I would like you to join me for what could be a rather expensive and also rather dangerous pen repair experiment. So what we have here is a selection of technical pens ranging from cheap and nasty like this subpar hero drawing pen from China. We have an old Staedtler Marsmatic 700 in 0.5 millimeters, an old rotaring isograph in 0.25, and we also have some Pentel Serenomatic Drafting Pros in 0.25 as well. And all of these pens have one thing in common, and that is they draw not very well. They're not a very smooth drawing experience. This one here, just because it's a bit cheap, to be honest. Actually, this one's not too bad, but it does sound a bit like this when I draw with it. But this rotaring, this is a really terrible experience. This old pen has been put through some kind of extreme kind of abuse over the decades, and now it writes like a jagged needle on the paper. It's very hard to make a nice circle with it without it going all jagged because it keeps on grabbing onto the paper like a grappling hook. It's just a nasty, nasty thing. There probably are tiny microscopic grappling hooks on the end of this. It's probably... I think this is one of those pens that I have which was used previously on drafting paper, which is a very hard kind of surface which wears down the pen nibs. So now it has this very uneven end on it. So what I want to know, can I fix this problem of these rough lines with this terrifying stuff? 2000 grit sandpaper. Now 2000 grit sandpaper is uh, very fine. You can't really feel individual granules of sand or whatever they put on this. It basically feels like someone has managed to distill friction down to its pure essence and then paint it on some paper surface. I might just put a tiny bit of water on this. And we'll first get this Hero Technical pen to start this experiment, because it's a cheap pen, basically. So first I might just throw the cleansing wire at the back of the pen like this. Hopefully it stays there. I might just... Well, that sounds really bad. Do a figure eight pattern while rotating the pen. This is nails on a blackboard kind of stuff. I'm doing a figure eight pattern while rotating. I'm not pressing down too hard. I can't say it's worse, to be honest. Maybe it is worse, hang on. So it feels a bit better on an angle. Okay, let's go a little bit more, hang on. I'll just do a circular motion while rotating the pen. Might try and hold it on an angle that I would actually draw at, you know. Okay, let's try that. Did that make it worse? I'm not sure. Feels much the same. Okay, let's go to Stadler Mars Matic, whatever it is. How does this feel? This feels... Now as far as 0.5 millimeter technical pens go, this one feels a bit on the rough side. Feels pretty just there, catches. Too much friction just here for some reason. Let's see if we can improve it with the dreaded sandpaper again. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just doing a light figure eight patterns while rotating the pen a bit. Okay, let's give that a go. Mm, still catching a bit. I have a feeling that whatever they make these tips out of, probably some kind of stainless steel, or maybe even tungsten. Some of them even have like a, a jewel tip. I don't think a jewel tipped technical pen can be helped with this method, nor would you have a problem with a jewel tip because they last practically forever as far as I know. I don't, I don't have one to be honest. That actually does feel a bit better actually. Okay, more.
Okay, that is actually a pretty big improvement. I had been lightly sanding the tip for about, you know, five minutes or so. And that actually feels a lot better. Okay, I'm finished with that one. That, that one worked. Okay, let's try out this rotary now, the 0.25. This one is at just the worst. Oh, it is literally impossible to draw with. I can't, you can't even manage to draw a circle. It's really awful. So let's do the figure eight to begin with. I think maybe I should take it a bit slower. I think this might be a better motion actually while rotating it. Rotate and drag. Because I'm finding as I'm doing figure eight patterns, as I'm doing a pushing motion in part of the figure eight, it will start to hop and skip on the sandpaper, probably giving it an uneven finish. So rotating and dragging, probably a much better idea. I have one major concern while doing this, and I'm worried about wearing down the cleansing wire too much, so it no longer protrudes out the end of the technical pen nib. I'm hoping it will just push up out of the way and retract back into the pen nib, so the actual nib of the pen will always be ground down more than the uh, cleansing wire. Well, but actually, that's a bit better. Oh, yeah. So this circle here is before. This circle is after. So here's another before circle just here. See how jagged it is? Let's try again. Oh, no ink came out. It is smoother. Okay, I'm too worried about wearing down the cleansing wire too much, so I'm going to take a piece of this, might make it, dunk it in a little bit of water. So there's my piece of sandpaper. Now I'm going to sand this pen upside down so I can guarantee that the cleansing wire isn't being worn down unnecessarily, because I think the cle this cleansing wire is as smooth as it's going to get now, so. Hopefully the flexing of this sandpaper is representing the angles I would be drawing at so I can get a smooth surface, you know. Just rotating and sanding. Might dunk it in a bit more water. So I've been sanding it for a few minutes now and this here is a circle which I drew before I sanded it. This was like halfway sanding. So let's draw another. Mm, no ink, hang on. That is such a dramatic difference. It's not catching at all now. I mean, I can't say it's perfect. It still has a bit of friction behind it, but it's an even amount of friction, you know? I think this is running out of ink. This pen is now actually usable. I'm very happy before it was unusable. Just imagine what it would look like with ink. I'm just gonna put some extra water in it. It's not grabbing at all. Well, I can smooth out a pen nib with sandpaper, but I can't fix ink flow problems with sandpaper, can I? So now it's time to fix this Ceranomatic Drafting Pro. I left these for last because I was worried that I would basically wreck them because you can't buy these anymore. They've, they probably stopped making them 30 years ago or something. But this one gives off a rather nasty scratchy experience. So let's see if this can be helped. So I'll do this a little bit at first, because this will both sand out the nib and the cleansing wire. Just rotating and dragging from diagonal to vertical. Slight diagonal, not too much. You do not want to sand your technical pens in an angle they're not designed to draw at, okay? Oh wow, that's already a big improvement. Huh. Look at the difference between that and that. And then for the final treatment, we will sand the technical pen upside down to spare this cleansing wire. Right, this is my refined method. Rotating and sanding. You must be patient, very patient. 
I have spent the last, how long? 44 minutes fixing three pens. Goodness me. I could have just done a drawing with a ballpoint pen in that amount of time. Anyway, so this here is some jagged scribbling I did before, sanding it, and now this is after. It's a big improvement. I can't say it's perfectly smooth though. Certainly usable. Maybe a 3000 grit sandpaper would even be better, come to think of it. It doesn't quite feel like a brand new technical pen, but it's almost there. I think I might need some even smoother sandpaper. So there you go. Some quite... So I am what's welcome. So I am somewhat happy with these results. They're pretty good. I mean, it's a vast improvement from having pens which are unusable. So if you have some technical pens which are unusable, I'd definitely give this a go. Maybe try it with some either finer sandpaper. If you can find sandpaper finer than a 2000 grit, I certainly would not use any sandpaper which is coarser than 2000 grit. That would not be a good idea. Yeah, so just be gentle, be patient, and continue to test the pen as you go along to make sure you're not heading in the wrong direction. This cheap Hero Technical pen, why did they even bother making this? I have no idea. Secondhand rotoring is a lot better than that cheap Hero. Okay, goodbye. Bye.